version 002 of my DMX Java library has been released with two uh, main new features. The first one is using multiple universes with one controller. I have a separate video for that, uh, link below. And the second new feature is using a USB to DMX controller, an interface which you can connect to your PC directly over a USB connection. And how you can use that uh, to control uh, DMX fixtures is demonstrated in this video. For version 001 of this library, I was using this IP uh, interface. So it's an IP to DMX interface. Uh, you see it's a network connection. In this release, I also have support for this uh, multiple uh, connectors, so multiple universes. But uh, this video uh, is uh, focusing on an other improvement in version 002 of the library, and that is using an USB interface. So this cable, for instance, has on one side a USB connector, on the other side an XLR, and it has a built-in uh, interface to convert from USB serial data to uh, DMX data. When you connect uh, this USB to a computer and it receives data, then you see this blinking lid, which is very easy to debug. So it means it actually receives serial uh, data from the library. Now let's look into the sources. You will see here a link to this device that I'm using, this specific interface USB to DMX cable, and also my test setup. So it's the same test setup as used in version 001 with uh, two uh, moving heads and two RGB fixtures. Now let's look at the demo code. So you see you have this run serial demo, which combines everything. Uh, first, it starts with listing all the ports, so it will list all the available USB ports. On most computers, this will be more than one because there are some debugging interfaces. You also see in the comments, I already tried different ones, but this one is detected as USB serial BG and the other thing that you see there. And then we have this run all demos with the controller. So the controller is the actual connection to the USB device. And then you have all these demos which are using that same controller uh, to uh, control the fixtures. Now let's run this in debug mode. So run serial demo. If we continue, we end up here. Now let's first see all the discovered uh, USB ports or serial ports actually. So there are six on my computer. Here we can uh, list them just as logging info so that we can see what has been detected. Well, for instance, Bluetooth is also there and a debug console, but it's actually the last one that we are interested in. This is uh, the name of the port that we need to use to initialize the DMX serial controller. And this specific one uses the open DMX USB uh, protocol. Now let's step into all the demos. The first one is sending row bytes uh, to the controller. So the controller is a serial controller at this port and the protocol is also there and it shows that it is connected. We're gonna use universe ID zero. We only have one uh, XLR connection. So that's the first universe. And we set everything to zero. So we are sending uh, a byte array of 11 values that means that the fixture on address one will receive this uh, 11 values in our case in this test setup it's a moving head so it will fully reset to its uh, default position now we can set the pen and tilt to halfway those are the two first bytes because we have uh, 11 channels for this uh, fixture. So pan and tilt are there. So we are sending 127 to uh, both pan and tilt. And uh, next test data sets the pan and tilt back to value zero, the color wheel to 44 and the dimmer to 255 uh, full open. So that's the color wheel and the dimmer. That's where they are in the byte array. 
The next demo is the RGB uh, simple demo. So we need a fixture here. So we load this fixture from an open format library file. The address is 23. We don't need to specify the mode because there's only one mode for this fixture with uh, five channels. There is a reset there to uh, make sure that no previous test values are still being uh, used by the fixture. Now we set the dimmer to 255. So if we change the color that we actually see it, so the dimmer has to be fully open to have the full brightness of each of the colors. And the first thing we're gonna do is setting it a fully red, just like we are able to use dimmer uh, as the value key, we can do the same with red. So we have loaded this from the JSON file. So all these channels are loaded uh, as they are defined in the OFL JSON file. There is a second RGB demo, which is a bit more extended. So it starts with the same fixture, the same JSON file, which gets loaded. Uh, we are setting fully red, then full green and so on. Setting it to blue, to white. Start the strobo at the highest value. Then stop the strobo again. And then do a fade from red and blue to have a mixed color. The next demo is the moving heads. So here we need an extra step is defining the modes because this fixture has uh, multiple modes. So five, nine and 11 channels. In this case, we want to use the 11 channels, which is the same thing we have been using here for the row bytes. But as you can see here, we can actually again, because we are loading from a JSON file and have a mode being uh, used to initialize the DMX client, we can use the names of each of the channels to change the value. So again, we can use dimmer to have full brightness. We can use the pan key to uh, have a full pan of, uh, across the whole range. We can do the same with the tilt. and put pan and tilt both back to the middle position and then change the color wheel. For the color wheel, again, we're gonna go through the whole range. Next is the gobo wheel. Again, we're going uh, through the whole range of the available values. And that's uh, the last demo which is available. Check the info below this video, my blog on webtechy.be or the GitHub sources of this project to learn more, to check the other examples uh, and keep an eye on new versions. I hope to release more soon with uh, more extended features if needed. If you have any request, let me know in a ticket uh, on GitHub. Thank you for watching.